is it on recording? I'd imagine it is. So I, I keep saying that on the beginning of the videos because the light's not on. And I don't, sometimes I leave the light on and it just comes on as soon as I start recording. But uh, I'm not going to go into it anyway. But uh, hey, on this video, um, I have repaired the ZVS driver. Uh, do you remember the, uh, the nice X-ray transformer that's uh, run by a ferrite? Yeah, it's got a ferrite core instead of an iron core. And um, I've repaired the ZVS driver. Um, it's actually taken down one of my MOSFETs. Um, which I thought it had done actually in the beginning. Normally a MOSFET will go poof, but uh, this one didn't, it just went eep, <laughs> just died. Um, normally uh, Xenas when they go, they normally go like that and popping off, or they just go really dark, or they just won't work at all. So, uh, you know, you get variations of uh, how things fail, but uh, sometimes you do normally get the <laughs> you get bits of bloody um, MOSFET flying everywhere. But uh, yeah, so I've repaired it and uh, I haven't exactly tried it above about 20 volts yet, so it's all new. So if it dies on me doing this 45, 50 volt test, then uh, I'm going to have to uh, look into doing it another way, probably using an, an actual RGBT um, module itself. Uh, I've got one out of But uh, so yeah, an RGB, something like this, but a lot bigger. This is a quite a cool one. It's like an inverter. So, uh, so yeah. So we'll, I'll try uh, giving you this one. And uh, oh yeah, this before I actually start this, I know I do waffle on a lot at uh, the beginning of videos, so I do apologise. Um, yeah. But well, anyway, um, yeah. I wanted to thank uh, Redalco 2007 for uh, making the video of his uh, look around, his walk around of his uh, workshop and area of my god how flipping big is your workshop area you've got you might as well just work on a football field because it's huge how many workshops mate bloody hell ray <laughs> anyway mate that was really cool i cannot believe how much stuff you've got it's unbelievable god i thought i had a lot hoarder hoarder's not the word I thought i was a hoarder <laughs> i've been called it i've been called a few words on this bloody channel i can tell you Anyway, I'm not going to talk or wabble on, wabble, wabble, wobble, whatever you want to call it. Talk anymore. I'll uh, show you this working, and let's uh, let's keep his fingers crossed that this is going to be a good one, shall we? So here we go. Yes. Uh, I was think it was there might have been that one down, down that end, which I, is either that one or this one, which I've I've replaced. It might be that one actually, because that one's got a bit of uh, dust around it. I, I desoldered them all and. Tested them with the aid meter, and uh, that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. That one had gone. So, and the zenas are fine. So, let's try it. I put a spark up on this time because uh, when it uh, that arc particularly breaks, we've got an open, you've got an open circuit, and that's when you can potentially get a flashover on your coil, and your uh, windings just there. So, pretty cool, eh? So, right, I'll pull it back a bit, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens, shall we? And you could actually do with having it here so you can see if that does finally blow up you can see if things go up in the air and I'll <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll try and see what I can do anyway guys right meter stick the old little beast on so we can hold it around about there Forty volts. Let me just check this. So this is not going to pop off again. In fact, actually, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's try another one. 46 volts.
check the cap. Starting to get a little bit warm now. Bloody hell, the ZVS driver's cold. I shit you not, guys. This is cold. Oh my god. They're just warm. They primarily that go around the ferrite, for those who don't know. There's the X-ray transformer in there. X-ray windings, which is actually run by frequency, even though it has an iron core. So it has less windings on the primer when it's in the X-ray unit and run on a frequency, on a very low frequency. <clears throat> Actually, it might be a bit high. I can't remember the frequency that these run at. I'll have to uh, look at the specs of an X-ray unit. Let's try this again. Jesus. You hear the current draw on the uh, variac. Five volts. See the tips there getting quite hot. Actually glowing. Hey guys, jeez! Now that's getting warm now. It's still cold. Bloody hell, that is still cold. Inductor. That's just warm. Wires. They're warm now. They're getting warm. Oil's freezing. About 10 degrees. Yeah, this is. I wouldn't say it was as. It's getting warm, if you know what I mean. It's cold to touch, but you can feel the warmth coming through. Yeah, they're just warm, they are. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's try it a little bit higher. We'll stick it up to 60 volts and I'll just quickly run it at 60 and we'll just see what the output is from that. So, quick, I'm gonna have my coffee first. But... Tried it with that earlier on just to make sure that it was working before I connected that up. That uh, flyback out of a 32 inch TV got me flipping arms aching. Let's pause it for a minute, my arm's killing me. <laughs> right, <clears throat> I have my 10 second rest. Right, here we go, 60 volts. Frightening. Volts, bloody hell, that's the most I've given this. It's got to be done though, I can't sit here and just look at them looking pretty. Flipping out, look at the ends of those screws, see if I can get it to focus. There we go, look at the ends of those screws, guys, just melted them. How amazing is that? That's some pure heat. That's what you call a setup. <clears throat> Some damn big arcs there, guys. Uh, I'd have to try and get me. Uh, the next time I run this, actually, I'll have to get my chicken steak and see how much we can draw an arc. I mean, you can draw an arc easily without that arc was. 
I make a draw a two foot arc off that. It's pretty impressive. That's a 50k V X ray transformer in there. Doesn't work from 50 hertz, of course, as I just said. So, but it uh, it does run really, really well. Wicked. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. So, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves. Be safe, whatever you're doing, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have another viewing of it uh, with a new chicken stick up there. If you can see that. I'm going to keep it out of the way, otherwise it eats me sandwiches. <laughs> Take care guys, speak again.